Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here at the NAB Show 2017, and we're going to show you all kinds of cool new products. Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here with Snehal from Zeiss, and we're looking at the brand new CP3 lenses. So I guess give us a little bit of background on what these lenses are and, and kind of their predecessor and with the improvements and so on. Absolutely. So CP2s were our most successful, actually the most successful cinema lens in the whole world. And if we were going to make improvements, we really wanted to push the envelope. So this has been in development for many years, actually. And the CP3s are smaller, lighter, more compact, and have better image quality. So more controlled chromatic aberration, micro contrast. This is from the coatings inside that we use the, uh, to coat the lens in the inside, and also the lens coatings themselves, you know, for the anti-reflective coatings are updated. Aside from that, the barrel construction is brand new. Uh, the, the lens rings, so the focus and iris rings are really smooth. And they're, yeah, and you were commenting how like, this is different, right? Yeah. So this is definitely different, and it's more closer to ultra prime in terms of the build quality. On top of that, we offer a version of the lens that is called the XD version, that actually has data that comes through the lens. So in this setup right here that we're showing, we have a, a master locket box and we're using the Cook Eye protocol. So we're a slash eye partner. And instead of going the LDS route like we did with Master Primes for Ari, we actually did Cook Eye because it's more open source. So that's the XD. So depending on what focal mark you're on, it's a different distortion. And what iris mark you're on, you get a different shading. And we actually give you that data. And so for VFX, they can stitch that together very quickly. So wow, that's really, really cool. <laughs> at a price point that is just 12 to 1500 more per lens than a normal CP3. So definitely future proof and it's updatable. So we could always do a firmware update through the external port too. So there's a lot of different uh, ways you can use it. So we want to save time and money on set. And on top of that, the CP3s are so improved in the image quality, you'll be very, very surprised how close they are to our Ultra Primes in terms of the look. So it's a, I think it's a winner all around. And the lens line is pretty extensive. You're saying 10 lenses? Correct, so it's 15 to 135. And the 15, 18, and 21 are T29. And all the rest from 25, 28, 35, 50, 85, 100, 135, they're all T21. So much more consistent. So for lighting purposes, if I just shot at T29, I can go from the whole range from start to finish. And T29 gives you a very pleasing out of focus and bokeh. So it's, it's what people are looking for. They want to shoot wider, open, you know? So we allow you to do that and uh, remain consistent with your lighting. So you're not like, oh my God, for this like super close up, now I got to put twice as many lights on there or three times as many lights. So that's amazing. Well, this looks really great. I'm looking forward to using these because we, uh, well, I don't have them in my kit yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, the CP2s we, we rent all the time, so uh, we love using them. So I'm sure we'll love to play around with these a bit. Thanks for talking with me. Um, you guys be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and we'll keep seven these uh, NAB updates as we go. And we'll see you next time.